it was meant to happen. Hi! If you're here for the book recommendations, go to this timestamp. It's where the recommendations start because I'm going to talk a little bit before that. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Sophia and today we're going to be doing a 101 book for beginners class if you want to start reading in English. <laughs> this book was kind of suggested by one of you the other day on Instagram when I asked you for video ideas. You said to do the difference between Spanish and English books and that's going to be another video but I thought it would be amazing to give a few tips on how to start reading in English and some of the best books to start doing just that or if you don't like to read and you want to kind of get into it here there's going to be a list of some books that might get you into reading my native language is Spanish but I started reading in English a while back it has honestly changed my life it made me create my bookstagram and also this YouTube channel so I could talk about the books that I love. This video is not only for English, it can be applied to any other language you want to read, French, German, Chinese, Korean, Japanese. If you're one of those people that read in another language, please tell me in the comments and also write your tip because it can be super helpful for other people. The first thing we're going to talk about is a few tips. The first tip I gave you is the book you pick breaks it or makes it. The thing is pick a book that entertains you, that makes you laugh, that makes you interested in that book, even if it's in another language. Of course, if you don't like fantasy and I gave you an easy read fantasy book you're not gonna want to read it not because the language you're reading it is hard for you it's because you are not interested in the book whatsoever I will suggest any stories you are familiarized with maybe you have seen the movie or the TV show based on the book or in the best case you have already read the book in your native language that's perfect because you know what the characters are what the story is about and how the book is gonna unravel so that's my main advice try to read a book you love in English but keep in mind if your favorite book is The Lord of the Rings or a really high fantasy or science fiction book it might be a bit hard at the beginning another good option is middle grade or children book nothing to be ashamed here I read so much middle grade it's easy it's fast to read and if your level is not that high it's gonna get you entertained and you're gonna learn a lot from it another one is graphic novels because they have art and it helps you a lot with the text though I wouldn't rely on graphic novels much even though they have text, it's not the same as a book where they describe situation and conversation between people. The next tip is try to read as you do on your native language. Don't stop when you see a word you don't understand. If you're understanding like 7% of what you're reading without understanding every single word, that's awesome. When I started reading, there were so many words that I didn't know, but by the context of the text, you can really know what the story is about. Try to stop the less that you can because it breaks your reading flow. Highlighting as you're reading and when you're finished with the chapter or you're finish reading try to go back and translate only the main word and by main words I mean adjectives spurs that have appeared a few times and they are key to the plot if you're reading an adventure novel and you don't know what the artifact your main character is looking after you're not gonna be interested of course you know you have to know what that artifact is so you can get into the plot that's a word worth translating try to highlight the less as you can try like a few words per page the basic thing here is don't rely on translation keep going so the next thing is so important it's something I should have done when I began and everything will have been easier don't push yourself if you think the language or the level of the book it's hard for you stop it we want to stop a burnout from happening and you not wanting to pick a book in another language ever again another tip i will say is emerge in the language not only read books in that language try to watch tv show youtubers who speak that language movies everything because it's gonna make it so much easier because your brain it's gonna get more used to it that's how i started i was obsessed with youtube at the time and i was so obsessed with all the british youtubers going on also ebooks ipads kindles in most of them there's an option to quick translate i know in my kindle you can do alone a dictionary that translates the words you just have to click it and it will translate it for you and it's honestly lifesaver if you're having a hard time. I did this with sticks of crows because I had the physical copy but I didn't understand anything about it. And the last tip is one of the most important ones. Be honest to yourself, it's not gonna be an easy ride. It's gonna take a while to read your first book in another language. You may not understand everything, there's gonna be some things about the plot you're gonna miss, but at the end of the day it's for understanding, for learning and for your entertainment. So if you keep that in mind and you want to continue, let's go into the book recommendations because 
I'm so excited. I will be doing this bangera and first I'm gonna do my own recommendations and later I will read all of the recommendations you gave me on Instagram. Quick disclaimer before starting, these are books that I've read and I think they are good for beginners. If you have any recommendations, please tell me so in the comments because I know there's so many books that I haven't read that are super good for beginners. So let's just help people out and write it in the comments. Let's start with contemporary slash romance. These are the easiest books to read because they are set in real life situations. You're gonna be more familiarized with the language. To all the books that I love before by Jenny Han, there's a movie about it, maybe you have seen it, then this is the best pick for you to start English and it was one of the first books I ever read in English. Everything Everything is another good book, there's also a movie, it's really good, and it was just super fast and it also brought me out of a reading slam, so I think it's perfect for beginners. The Were Liars by E. Lockhart, this is so short, fast, there's mystery, and the end then it's gonna... Psh blow your mind. The next one is middle grade books, any Percy Jackson books. I uh, only read a few of them but they were super easy to read. City of Ghost by B. E. Shrav. If you like Victoria Shop and you have read any of her books in your language, try this one. It has her style of writing and I think it's an amazing book for beginners. Here I will suggest your favorite childhood book but I'm gonna suggest mine which is Ulysses Moore. This is a series of 13 books. Honestly, as an adult, it has an amazing plot. It's about these kids that move to a really secret town and they move to this super big house. They know the last owner, Ulysses Moore, had these crazy doors that led to different places. With the help of Freak, one of the kids that lived in the town, they start to discover these doors that take them to some really amazing places. For dystopian selection or the Hunger Games or Divergent, but those you already know about. This is such a good book. Book, it always gets me out of reading slam. It's super easy. It's basically the bachelorette but with princesses and a prince and there's like third world war going on. Even though the characters are a bit plain, I think it's what everyone needs if they are starting to read. I have a few picks for science fiction. The first one is Illuminate by J. Christophe. This has such a different type of storytelling. There's a lot of dialogue. I think it will be amazing for people that get bored easily. If you like more of a romance sci-fi fiction, I will suggest Obsidian by Jennifer for all Armand wrote. This book is Twilight by with Aliens. My sister and I read this book so fast and a bit trashy, let's be honest. It's Aurora Rising by Ye Christoph. It might be a bit hard to get into because there's a lot of info dumped into you at the beginning, but the story is really fun and fast. For mystery, I suggest One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus. This was so fast and easy to read. And if you like mystery, Pretty Little Liars, I think this is perfect for you. For any classics, I would suggest more of a child classic, which will be Peter Pan or Alice in Wonderland. These are both super easy and you have probably seen the Disney movie or you already know the story. For fantasy, which is my favorite genre, but it's one of the hardest to get into, Shadow and Bone by Leva Dugo. Don't pick Six of Crows, <laughs> pick Shadow of Bone. It was creating earlier and it has easier English and easier work with me. This is my favorite and the first book I ever read in English and it's The, the Jungle Lights by Mary Lou. It's about these boys who after surviving a really dangerous disease, they get out with powers and people fear them and our main character is a bit of a great kind of character. She's on the bad side more than the good side and I love this book and please go and read it. I have my original copy with all the highlighted words that I did. Dragon Ball is also easy and a really good story and Renegades. I don't know if this is fantasy but it's about superheroes and you're into that. For graphic novels I would suggest Heartstopper by Ali Osman. It has a lot of representation for gay, lesbian couples, transgender people, eating disorders. So this is an amazing amazing graphic novel. It's heart warmer. And I'm gonna read your recommendations. It ends with us by Colin Hoover. If you're more into a mature kind of romance, Colin Hoover books are also super good. Percy Jackson, especially Magnus Chase books. Those are middle grade. Nevermore, which is also a middle grade one. Ali Sussman's book, which you have Loveless, Radio Shot, Silence. Save the Day by Morgan Manson. Haven't read it, but probably super good because it's a contemporary. The Hunger Games, she said it's one of the first books she read in English. Only mostly Devastated, which I think it's a contemporary. The Shatter Me books, which also remind me of Shadow and Bone. One by Sarah Crossan, which I think this is a poem book. A Very Large Expensive Sea, Prince and the Dressmaker. This is a graphic novel and I heard a lot about it. Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which is another good one because you also have the TV show. The Little Prince, a classic. The Land of Stories, another middle grade book that I think would be good. A series of unfortunate events, also, you have a movie, you have a TV show, and the books are middle grade, so they are easy to read. George, 
cute book about a trans girl. There you go. So those were all of your picks. Sorry it was a little bit on the longer side, but I hope this helps you on picking books. Again, please tell me in the comments if you have any more recommendations. Let's help people up. Please subscribe, like, give it a comment, all those pretty things you can do because it really, really helps out. That's gonna be it for the video. Again, as always, I hope you like it and I will see you in the next one.